Ladies and gentlemen, I have a good news for you today. Jesus loves you, but there is a condition. Repent! For the kingdom of God is here. We need to repent. The Bible says that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. No one is righteous. No one is good. Only God is good. Well, let me tell you one story, my friend. Four years ago, I was a Buddhist. But Buddha never spoke to me. I was trying meditation. I grew up in a Catholic country. Religion was imposed to me. Was forced on me by the Pope. But when Jesus came in my life four years ago, somebody prayed for me. And I felt so much peace in my heart. Stress went out from me. Panic attack went out. By a simple prayer. I said, Father, forgive my sin. And Jesus came in my life. My mom had depression for 15 years. She lost a brother with motor by accident. They prayed for my mom and depression went away instantly. That day I left my career as a lawyer and become a missionary. There is good news that can be found only in Jesus Christ. There is a love so deep that it can be found only in Jesus Christ. You are looking love in your boyfriend, in your girlfriend. The only love can be found in the person of Jesus Christ, my friend. And maybe you are looking for the truth. The truth is a person, his name is Jesus. Religions will not take you to heaven. Pray five times per day will not take you to heaven, my friend. I'm sorry. This is good news. My baby is bad for you. Because you have been deceived. Jesus Christ is the only way. The Bible says, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. There are no other ways. Everyone who comes not in the name of Jesus is a thief. My friend, Buddha died. Mohammed died. Hare Krishna died. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. No one else, only Jesus. The wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. There are no other ways, my friend. If you invite Jesus in your heart today, you will receive the gift of salvation. You will receive eternal life. You will receive peace which passes all understanding. You don't need to pray five times per day because you will live a communion with God 24-7. God still speaks. It's no silence. Many people say, God walks in mysterious way. Yes, for those who don't know God. But we believe that we receive Jesus Christ and he talks through the Bible 24 7. Many people are waiting for a word from God when Jesus said already a loving letter to you. Read the Bible, my friend, and you will understand that they from the prophets Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, they were pointing, all of them they were pointing at the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all the prophets, they were pointing to the only way, Jesus Christ. I'm not here to support any religion. Actually, I came out from the religion because I'm following the person of Jesus Christ. He's not a religion, he's a person, and he loves you. I, he's, the Bible says, I've loved you with everlasting love. I've drawn you with loving kindness. My friend, I have a, I'm, I'm begging for your soul. You are in danger. There is heaven, there is hell. Without Jesus, you cannot, you cannot experience eternal life. But with Jesus, you can access the Father and you can have eternal life one day.
You must be careful, my friend, to, to don't, don't fall into religion just because your parents, are, they, they push you into some religious or some ritual. That doesn't mean that is the truth. He's calling you today. He's knocking at the door of your heart. If you open, he will answer you. The Bible says, who say, those that search with all their heart, they will find. Knock and it will be open. And maybe you are tired, my friend. The Bible says, come to me. Come to me, all of you are tired and weary. I will give you rest for your soul. There is peace which passes all understanding. There can be found only one person, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. The Bible says, who has known the mind of God? Who has known his mind? Who has known his way? My friend, you want to know the mind of God? Receive God, receive Jesus Christ today. And you will understand his ways. You will start a relationship with God. This is not a fairy tale. It's not a joke. It's not a religion. It's a communion with God that you can have. But we need to, we need to repent. Because all of us have sinned. The wage of sin is dead. Yes, my friend, the wage of sin is dead. But the gift of God is eternal life. So my question is, if you die today, where are you going? There is answer for that question. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved, you and your house. He is loving, he loves you. He's not condemning you. He's not the mafia. He's not God the Father. He's a good, good father. God is not looking at you uh, and uh, getting, getting crazy on you. No, he loves you. He says, come to me, I will give you rest. He's a good father, my friend. Today is the day of salvation. You need, you need to choose between life and death. Today you can choose between God or Satan. Death or life. Light or darkness. God is light and in there is no darkness at all. You may think that God is punishing you, is trying you, is making a test on you by putting cancer on you or sickness and disease. He's not God, he's Satan. He comes to kill, to steal and to destroy. But Jesus comes to give you life, a life in abundance. He's a good father, loving father, who loves you and cares for you. He's not judging you. But we need to, we need to understand that all of us matter. All life matters. All life, my friend. Because it, the life is a gift from God. And Jesus Christ loves you. And He's calling you. Yes. He's calling you. Jesus is calling you, my friend. Life is a gift from God. But they've tried, the people, the, the societies try to divide us between black, white, yellow, and red. I tell you one story, my friend. The blood of Jesus washed away the bloodline. The color line is washed away by the blood of Jesus. I don't see any color anymore. I see, I see humankind. They, they, I see, yeah, also white, also yellow, white Chinese. All lives matter, my friend. They are trying to divide us. They are trying to divide us. There is, yes, please. I 
I have a black jumper. Yeah. Like, that doesn't stop our identification of people. So I agree, yes, it can be divided. So, so, yes. However, if you truly love, then you acknowledge for what it is, what it is. Do yeah. you understand? Yeah. Like, you are, and I am, and that's important to me. My height, yeah. my hair, my shoe size, what I wear, yeah. how I look is important to me. It's important to you, it's important to you because who you are. Yeah. So to disregard it is to say that I don't exist. And that is a sin. Because I do. Because all of us are in the image of God. Yeah, so exactly. I agree part of your statement. However, it's not the total truth and therefore it's not love. In what part do, don't you agree? Then you don't see colour. Because you do. But you see colour. You see this cross. It's no, what I meant color. by... My, my reasoning was that this has been created by somebody else to divide us, okay? When I see I don't say color, it means that I don't see difference between me and you. Or between that. me and the others. Then say that. Yeah. Racism is a construct that divides us. Yeah, exactly. Hierarchy is a construct that divides us. Exactly. However, color is something that is seen. And those are the things that you're trying to find. Not the fact that you people don't see color. Because color exists. That's the issue. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. And that's the long question. I think what he was trying to say to you is Jesus is every color. I understand what he's trying to say. But what he's actually saying is misguided. And if you're trying to guide the people, you have to be certain in your work. Because that's your job. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no point. Because I could be walking by, hear that, and take that. I don't have time for you to stand here and explain. I could be that person that is not open. And if you're trying to make me open and love into God and your guiding light, then you have to be open and honest. That's what yeah, That's why I stopped, I stopped to preach and talk to you. And I'm not disregarding that. And I appreciate that. And I'm acknowledging that. And because that for me, it's not like, you know, preaching is more... It's guidance. It's more about, it's more about you and me that... We have interaction, we never you know um, a conversation. So and I don't that's know. where you say your message is your message. You say exactly what you want. Not anything else that anyone questions. Yeah. Exactly what And that's all I wanted to say. What's your name? <laughs> Kayla. My name is Chris. Nice, nice to meet you. God is love. Yeah, yeah. Like, Jesus loves us so much. There is anything that we can pray for you before you go? Just everyone. Pray for everyone. Just that's what we did. Like, you know? Any, anything in particular, maybe. Do you can... have any pain anywhere that you want some healing? Or... Pray for my healing. Yeah, pray for my healing. healing of the heart. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. pray. We'll <laughs> pray. We'll pray for yeah, your body, pray. mind, spirit, and soul. We can pray now if you want. Enjoy. Yeah. Father God, I pray for, for my sister. Lord, thank you that um, you gave me this. You gave us this opportunity to to just share. You know. To, to have a conversation and I pray that you're gonna heal at, at the door now right now be healed in Jesus name I pray for any 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 situation in your heart any wounds must be healed right now in Jesus name I pray that you're gonna guide it through your Holy Spirit you're gonna direct every step in your life and take it into the destiny that you already chosen for it because all the day I've written in the book in heaven. Lord, I pray that, he, that she, will, she will know you as a daddy, as a papa, as a father. And you just pour out waves of love and peace upon her life right now. Holy Spirit, give him understanding and wisdom to, um, to choose between good and evil. Give him wisdom which passes all understanding. Give him love and peace upon her family as well. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. So, come on, give me a Come on, let's make a room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Take care. Bless you. you okay? Yeah, praise God. You can see me a little crowded over there. Yeah. So I thought I'd never seen this um, gathering before. Or yeah, she, 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 so I was stuck in the I use the board. Asking Yeah, so we were um, sharing, well, Chris was sharing on the Bible. Also, we're here to like, minister to people for healing and to be set free from whatever it is that they're going through. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the, the last Reformation? Yeah, we're not last Reformation with John G. Lake Ministries. You heard of them? Very similar. Very, oh, did okay. very similar things. Yeah. Really? 
Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shall I continue? Because I've been really following you. Shall I continue? Yeah, we had so much in common. Like, we'd go out, she had the sick, passed out, then we were baptized. Yeah. So, thank you. Why? You're not actually. Why did you get that to say something? Yeah, well, we're just not with that group. Shout that out. I like what they're doing. We can show you a testimony about that. Yeah, because when we sat, there. Yeah, I'm going to get he sounds right on, but he doesn't believe in the Trinity, you know, which yeah. makes him a heretic. Yeah. It's hard to tell who's a heretic and who's not. Yeah. We believe in the Trinity. Oh, praise <laughs> God, yeah. 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 yeah, so I mean, uh, I, I was with uh, the, um, uh, oh, Lord, she was a bit tired of it. I mean, with, uh, with, uh, I keep wanting to say TLR, but that's fine, it's L-S-M. Okay. Living Stream Ministry. Um, yeah. 